So in this After Effects tutorial, we're gonna take 10,000 years of After Effects knowledge, condense it down to about a 10 minute video. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone's having a great day today. So like I said, you know, thousands of years of just knowledge. It's gonna be condensed down to 10 minutes. But seriously, this tutorial is going to teach some really helpful line and shape techniques to help you with your titles. And you're gonna be able to apply these techniques for the years to come in your video editing, motion graphic, After Effects career. You're gonna be able to implement these techniques in multiple ways. So if you wanna create some really awesome titles, let's jump right into tutorial. Let's get started. And remember, you can always download our project files for free off our website. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, the link will be in the description. So we're going to talk about breaking down this entire title extremely easily. It's going to break down to our five techniques. So to start off with our first technique, we're talking about revealing on our main title with a mask. So here we are in our tutorial composition, and this is where you'll start off. What we're going to want to do is I'm going to delete this line. And what we'll do is grab the rectangle tool here at the top, click on the word fill, make sure it's set to solid color, click OK, click on the word stroke, and set it to none and click OK. All right, all we're going to do is we're going to create this nice little rectangle above our title. So whatever title you're working with, you can create a nice line above that, OK? And what we're going to want to do here is animate this in and reveal on our titles. We'll open up rectangle one, we'll go to rectangle path one, and we can break the chain for size. We'll add a keyframe for size, and we'll move that keyframe forward in time, maybe by a few frames, and we can set the X size down to zero. So now this will kind of animate in just like that, okay? And you can make both these keyframes easy, easy keyframes. And then we'll hit P on the keyboard for position, and we'll add a keyframe for position. We'll move forward in time by a little bit, and we'll simply grab the Y position, and we'll have this go all the way to our second title, right underneath our title. So you can see that this line will obviously cross over our main title, and that's cool. And while this is coming down, I wanna go back into the contents, go into rectangle one, go to rectangle path one, back to the size. And as this animates downward, I actually want this to open up for our second title. So I'll increase the Y size there. So as this animates downwards, it'll kinda expand, and that's cool. But we're here to show how to reveal on our title. And now we'll grab our main title that we're going to reveal on with our shape and we'll grab the rectangle tool here at the top. And all we're going to do is create a mask over our title like this, okay? And then what we're going to do is open up the mask one, add a keyframe for mask path. And we'll come here before it starts animating downward and we'll simply grab the mask and hold down shift and we'll bring it back to the middle of that line. So now it gets revealed on perfectly just like that. And of course, we'll hit U on our keyboard to bring up all our keyframes, and we can make the position and mask keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. So now that's all said and done, we're able to reveal our main title on with a line, and that is super seamless. So for our second technique, we have another title right here that needs to be revealed on by our line. A really cool, simple way that we can take this is we can rename our shape layer to line main if you want and of course grab your line and put it underneath all your titles so you can see that right there okay what we're going to do here is duplicate our line and we'll rename it to line mat and every time i you know, type in mat uh you know once they hide all the mats watching this video thanks for watching and we'll grab this layer and we'll put it right above our title that we're going to reveal on so in my case the word strategies and if you're stacking this animation with me make sure you grab your main text layer that we just did the mask on and put it underneath the line so it doesn't get cut off like that all right then we'll grab our next text layer here which is strategies and change the track mat to alpha mat if you don't see the track mat just toggle switch the modes until you see it so now you don't see the title it comes in by that line so now we run through this boom boom perfect line animation revealed right there and that looks nice all right we're looking great so far so for our third technique we're going to talk about animating a title with specific animation properties with our line so we've used the mask to reveal on our main title we use a track mat to reveal on our second title so for our third title we're going to just use individual animation properties to reveal it on with our line so let's go ahead and go to that layer which is www.sunduckfilm.com <clears throat> wow, I should definitely not do voiceover. We'll come here, open up our layer, go to animate, and we'll add position. All right. So what we can do with this is grab the Y position that you just added, and you can just put it underneath the title. It's gone. You don't see it. All right. You can open up range selector one. All right. So this comes down right here. 
and we'll add a keyframe for start at this moment in time. We'll move forward by a little bit, maybe a second or so, and we'll set this up to 100% and we'll grab both these keyframes, make them easy, easy keyframes, okay? So the only problem here is we already see our title up before this animation happens. So we'll grab the endpoint and bring it to the first keyframe. So now the animation is completely hidden from our line, which really more like is a box, but it's a third technique to be able to use one shape, one line to animate on a title. And that is nice. So since we're putting all these techniques together and it isn't like one fits all here, think about just like one line animation, how these kind of work in different scenarios. Um, and we also can take a look at just the entire title being revealed on by a line like that. So think about how you can just use one or two of these techniques per title. And before we move on to our next technique, I want to give a shout out to a couple of After Effects packs that will help you in the years to come. And of course, these tiles are from our Motion Graphics Starter Pack among 500 elements that are pre-made right here in After Effects that you can automatically apply with a click of a button. And if I click apply, it adds this template right to this composition really quick and I can make changes as I go. So that is our motion graphics starter pack along with a handful of other amazing elements right here uh, inside of After Effects and along with animated backgrounds, you know, accent motion graphics, shape transitions, and even logo animations all right here in this extension inside of After Effects. An animation composer has his own interface as well right here in After Effects and we can come in here to our title presets which we have a thousand title presets and we can easily apply a text animation preset as an endpoint or an outpoint or even both and it automatically applies this transition that we can easily control the in and out generation of. So that is really awesome. So if you want to check out Animation Composer or our very own Motion Graphics Starter Pack, that link will be in the description. And if you pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. So for our fourth technique, we're going to create this outer box that will eventually turn it into a way to reveal our text out. So our fourth technique, we're going to call it Box It. So back in this composition, what we're going to do is grab the rectangle tool, click on the word Fill, set it to None. Click OK. Click on the word Stroke, set it to Solid Color, and click OK. Okay, <laughs> okay, wow. We're gonna create a box, okay? Wow, I, I can't stop, this is not a joke. Like, I can't stop saying okay. We can come here to the line tab and center it. I'm trying to keep my composure here. And what we'll do here is come here to add and we'll add a trim paths. All right, see how I changed it? I'm done, I'm done talking about it. And we'll open up trim paths and we'll set the end percent down to zero percent. And we'll come here to the beginning of our timeline and we'll add a keyframe for start and we'll move forward and we'll set the start up to 100%. And we'll set this keyframe a little bit further. And another thing we'll do is come here to our first keyframe, add a keyframe for offset and come here to the last here. And we'll come here and we'll set the offset to like a positive 100-ish degrees. And we'll select all the keyframes and hit F9 on our keyboard. And let's go ahead and kind of move those forward a little bit more. You know, it's pretty nice. We have an extra additional line here to put all the focus together. Um, and, you know, it doesn't have to be a box. You know, just think about how you can incorporate this nice technique to wrap around our entire animation. It just adds an extra level of line detail to our title. You know, you can use it in different ways. So if I come here to our, um, you know, graphic pack, show a quick example. Showing a title example from our motion graphic starter pack, you see that you don't have to create a simple box here you know you can do something kind of cool with you know just by playing with the start percent you know you don't have to fully close that box so that's really cool and now in our fifth and final technique we're going to take this entire box here and motivate it to where it's going to reveal out our entire title it's going to close it out it's going to animate it out maybe a little bit past this animation here go ahead and open this up and we'll come here to end we'll add a keyframe for that and we'll move forward you know to like five seconds or so and we can set the end percent you know, down to where it's going to be a line like this. But also, we need to make sure that we go back to that first end keyframe there. And we add a keyframe for offset. And we come here to the end, last keyframe. And we got to make sure the offset is going to be right above here. Or it could be at the bottom. It doesn't matter. I'm just trying to motivate this as much as I can. I can increase the end percent a little bit more. So now, you know, it gets revealed on. And then it'll kind of close off and end up right there. So that's fine. Make sure we'll make all of our keyframes easy easy keyframes so then i'm going to just hit p on the keyboard for position and add a keyframe for that and we'll move forward in time and we can grab the position and bring it down this way 
So now that's all good. We can come here and make these easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9. And then at the last keyframe here, once it's all done, and we'll hit S right keyboard for scale, and we'll add a keyframe for that. We'll move forward by a little bit, and we'll break the chain for scale and set the scale down to 0%, the X scale. So now they'll just kind of go away like that. Awesome. And as before, we can make them easy, easy keyframes. Now, all we have to do here is grab all of our previous title layers and shapes other than that box. We'll go up to layer, pre-compose, and we'll just call it title. And we'll hit U here, and right at that line position where it goes down, we'll grab our title comp, we'll grab the rectangle layer, and we'll just create a mask like this. Open that up, go to create a keyframe for mask path, and at the end here, we'll simply animate this downward, and we'll make those mask keyframes easy, easy keyframes. So now with all of our techniques combined together, we have the ultimate line animation, uh, you know, title with all these techniques put together and that looks really clean. So that wraps up this tutorial on these five title shape line techniques right here in After Effects. Just think about how you can implement these in different ways for single titles or, you know, one or two techniques here and there. You're going to be able to use these for years to come and you won't even be thinking about how you're using them because they're just right there, you know, you have thousands of years worth of information just right in there. So remember, you can check out our Motion Graphics Starter Pack or Animation Composer. Those links will be in the description. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.